What's up, good people? My name is AJ, and you are watching Straight Talks. If you're enjoying any of this content, or if you're new to the channel, please feel free to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, and let's get into this one. So a topic here that's probably most interesting to all of the uh, college or university students out there. What type of a GPA do you need to be able to work in finance out of college? There's no one good answer to this question. I'll talk a little bit about my experience and then what I'm seeing out there in the marketplace and what was there five years ago when I was leaving college and looking for some of these jobs. But it's mostly going to depend on what industry and at what company within that industry you want to start working at when you're done with your schooling. So I got this question on another video. So thanks to the person who left that question for me if you're watching this one. And they asked, hey, AJ, what GPA did you have when you finished college? Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with the GPA scale, it's grade point average in the United States. It ranges from basically one to four. Four would be straight A's throughout college. Uh, and then like a B minus average. Well, let's see. A, a B average is a 3.0. Um, a C average is a 2.0 like that. So basically I had a 2.8 GPA, which is a B minus average or just above a B minus average, uh, which is generally considered pretty poor to be under a 3.0 certainly especially when you're applying for jobs at, um, at some of the more prestigious financial institutions or just corporations out there. GPA matters a lot more than I had ever thought by most companies standards that are out there doing the hiring today. And I wish I would have known this earlier on in my freshman and sophomore years of college and I would have probably taken some of the studying much more seriously. I know after passing all the CFA exams now, if I had put in that amount of effort towards my early university studies, I would have had a much higher GPA. But uh, I'm happy with where I ended up in life, and actually I think some of that might have been for a reason. So it's worked out okay for me. I don't think that necessarily means you should study less or slack a little bit. I think you do want to try to maximize your GPA while in college to give yourself the best opportunity set possible. But the honest truth is, number one, it totally depends on if the recruiters or if the hiring managers at the firm that you're going to or trying to apply to care about GPA. Now, some of the ones that I think there are three levels here. Some of the firms that I had applied to, they cared almost more than anything about GPA. If you didn't have above a 3.8 or 3.7 at some of the more prestigious investment banks, actually I didn't end up applying to those, but those are again at the top tier of the spectrum here, uh, then, then they wouldn't look at your resume. Then you have like this 3.5 range where if you don't have above a 3.5 GPA, and this also applies just to some corporate finance jobs at, at some bigger, I don't know, manufacturing or other industrial firms out there. And with that 3.5 level, if you're not at that GPA or anywhere above it, they won't even look at your resume. So it's a hard stop. And it really cut me out of a lot of opportunities that I would have potentially pursued throughout college. Uh, I couldn't even submit my applications to because the GPA was too low. Then you're going to have people who I would consider kind of in the middle on the uh, strictness of GPA requirements spectrum. And they're going to ask you about it. They're going to question your studies and your work ethic and things like that. But there's going to be no strict minimum or, or strict requirement that you have to hit to be able to apply for and interview for a job with them. Personally, I think that strategy makes the most sense. If I'm a hiring manager, that's how I would approach it. Because you're going to have a lot of people out there who slack off because they don't have a great work ethic. And so they'll have a poor GPA for that reason. And you might want to screen out some of those people. But then there are also going to be people who were disinterested in what they were studying or they were applying their effort towards other things while in college or they were bored because, you know, maybe it was too easy or whatever. And an additional I'm a genius excuse might sound like there, there's a handful of other reasons that could um, mean that someone is actually well qualified for your job, but they just didn't do well in college. And so I wouldn't necessarily want to screen those people out either. There are really good studies out there that show too, and I would ar always argue this point um, in my own favor when I was applying for those jobs in college with a lower GPA, which is that hiring purely based off GPA is not a successful way to place effective employees into jobs. And they uh, measured employee effectiveness like five years into the job from some scales, I can't remember. But basically, there wasn't a high correlation between people from a 2.5 to a 3.5 GPA amongst uh, job performance once they were actually out there in the workforce. So with that type of information out there available, it was always surprising to me that so many firms had these strict cutoffs that they would abide by when hiring, but that's the reality. And so that's why I think you need to take it really seriously and study as much as you can to try to maximize that GPA during your college years. And finally, at the, at the least, strict part of that spectrum are people who don't care what your college GPA was and actually notably you have people like uh, Elon Musk who say that your college GPA doesn't matter. Gary Vee if you watch him on YouTube he doesn't care about people's GPA when they are applying to work there. And they make their hiring decisions based around those criteria and I think that could make a lot of sense as well. The issue out there for job seekers though is that those uh, the lower end in terms of strictness when it comes to what GPA you had to have in college 
I think are probably in the minority of employers out there. But for most jobs and in most roles that a lot of you might be interested in getting once you're done with university or college, GPA is just going to play an important factor in that, unfortunately, for some people, maybe fortunately for others who have uh, had straight A's throughout the first couple of years of college. So that's the reality of, of the workforce that I think exists out there today. Maybe in 10, 20 years, that'll be different. But for now, you really got to focus on studying and, and improving your grades as much as you can to give yourselves the most opportunities possible. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.